So, so many people gave me this question over the years. Where is the brisket coming from? Why are we getting different brisket? Why are we getting different brisket? Uh, what is Packer's brisket? Why is American brisket and so on? So I just want to try to explain uh, where the brisket comes from, a bit about the anatomy of the of the of the uh, cow. So to start with, uh, this is uh, Hereford uh, cattle uh, heifer. I bought that from a farmer up in uh, Ratroom, and uh, it was 20 months of age. Uh, it has a nice amount of fat, not too much, not too little. And uh, I want to show you how to get a brisket, how to get a Jacob ladder, and uh, Jim's favorite, the cloth. So to start with, this is the breastbone, this is the ribs, which is the Jacob's ladder. Uh, that's a chuck, that's a shoulder, that's a shin. So to start with, we'll make a Put just down by the breastbone to expose the breastbone. Over the years, I've been uh, breaking beef in uh, various different countries. So uh, there's a different codes, there's a different techniques, there's a different styles. But the anatomy of the carcass is the same across the world. So, in here, we expose the brisket. So we expose in the brisket from these parts. Now, we're gonna cook the Jacob's butter. Oops. here to make a nice gentle cut to go through the first muscle that's on the primary. Come in nicely, nicely around the brisket. As the Jacob's ladder removed. As you can see, you have a nice amount of beef. You have a little bit of fat cover. Not too much, not too little. The next job is to separate the bread from. And we have a Jacob's ladder. So you can see you have a nice amount of marble beef. A bit of fat. Beautiful. Now, second job. As you see, the, brace, the brisket starts shaping in here. Yes. I'll get the chook out of my way. And like that, 
the exposed shoulder. So that's the chuck out of the way. And here we have a shoulder with the brisket still intact. The reason I'm breaking it this way, which uh, is a little bit different that butchers would normally do, is I want to show you where is the brisket coming from. The brisket is a thick muscle that's actually helping the animal to move. Now, that's our shoulder, and this is our brisket. So, as you see, it starts to look like something you're familiar with. So, to trim the brisket, we get rid of all of these heavy all of these heavy fats. And you see how the brisket starts showing up. Now, personally, I leave this in here. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of trim of the hard, hard fat. But I think it's important to leave it in for the additional flavor of the meat. I know people would say it doesn't look like the Big briskets we'll see in American programs and so on, but as I said before, it's a small effort, Hereford heifer, therefore, it's not as a big animal yet. It'll be very, very tasty. And again, here we have the point, so we'll trim the excess, we'll trim the excess fat.
and again I'll be fairly happy to leave that in Yep, so that is your full brisket with the tip on, as Jim called it. Well, that's good brisket, lad. Right, Marty, we are, you and me have been chatting for a long time about the clod of beef, which is, I've been doing a lot of research on barbecue, and if you actually look at the history of barbecue, pre like 1900s, uh, in a lot of the Texas, the old cowboys, uh, they never actually cooked the brisket because the brisket went off to be pastrami and it was it was a cut of meat that was actually worth something. So a lot of the old smokehouses used actually do clod, which is basically shoulder of beef, which is, you sh let's have a look where it is. That's, that's absolutely correct, Jim. And uh, as you pointed, it's a, a forgotten cut. It's a forgotten cut. And, and do you know the funny thing is, when, when I first started getting into barbecuing and smoking, I could never understand why all these Americans are going, brisket takes 24 hours, when you and I both know, if you try to cook a brisket for 24 hours, you end up with a dry piece of crap. So, but I, I actually think that what the old pit masters used to be talking about, they were talking about the shoulder. Because there's so many muscles in it, you can't rush it. It's, the, it's one of the only cuts of meat that it takes 24 hours, and that's exactly what it, you've cooked it, I've cooked it. We cook it a lot together because it's our, it's one of our family cuts, we call it. Absolutely. So you have the whole shoulder of beef. Now, to me, the clod is this part. Yeah. So that's your blade bone, which, if you cook it on the bone, works as a radiator. Yeah. Yeah. Cooks the meat from the inside as much as from the outside. And I just turn it over. So uh, uh, when you look at these, that's your chuck tender. Down along this side. Down yeah. along this side. Here is the feather blade, which so that's uh, is two muscles. that's a second muscle, which is really hard-working muscle yeah. with a big, thick sinew going through it and beautiful marbling. Then you have the what we call LMC slash housekeeper yeah. cut, yeah. and so on, which again it's a hard-working muscle that has almost good, harder than the brisket, almost harder than brisket indeed, and has a big thick sinew. And on the top of that, you have a beautiful fat cover yeah. all over that that keeps which your meat nice and right, right, moist right, right, as you could. But, but that, this big lump of sinew that goes through here. You, you can't hot and fast it, which is an awful expression, or smoke roast. It has to be slow. You can't cheat it. You can't wrap it for hours. It it has to be cooked for as long as it takes. That's exactly what as it is. We, we've both proven trying to speed it up and it never worked. Exactly. 24 hours Exactly, it because it has to go and literally jellyfy. Now, the benefit is that as that meat jellyfies, it gives all of these gelatin to the meat and yeah. that's why the meat is incredibly moist uh, as we will learn hopefully hopefully tomorrow well, this time. Well, wait, this one is going in the smoker as soon as you get your arson gear and uh, we're going to go drinking I, and then we'll come out in the morning and pull her out. I will be sorry to my friend. <laughs> so what we do is we just make a literally one straight cut. You're sure that now again, you? we'll try to We'll try to hit the joint of the blade bone. No pressure. And here we are, Jim. Yeah, man. That is your, that is your, that is your cloth. Which it, and a lot of butchers, you don't get this because nowadays a lot of butchers are called box butchers because they buy all their meat in boxes. Because you buy all animals, we can actually break it down any particular way we like. That's this this would not be done in, in any exactly abattoir or what this, it is. We're looking yes. for a certain cost. We'll just trim flat bit aside because that would dry out too much. And we have a nice, nice, and nice. If you see in here, uh, if anyone do, does pork collars, pork butts, this here is literally the blade that you get in the pork collar. It's from a cow though, so it's like four times as big, isn't it? That's you know exactly what, I mean? what it is. So, here we are, a cloth, ready to go to the smoke. Yeah, this is gonna be good. <laughs> 